Bo how do you say it? Bo Bali? 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 So look inside, guys. You want to try one? No. Come on. Why not? Tastes good? Oh, there's the head right there. You see the head? Huh? You want to try, guys? You want it? No. No? Okay. How do you, how do you eat it? What do you think? Oh. Full okay. little baby, full little baby chickens. Yeah. So that was a stand selling balot, 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 and uh, 20 pesos. And uh, yeah, you can eat yourself a little uh, baby chicken and egg. And you know what? They grow up on it, so it's just normal to them. But I don't think it's very <laughs> normal to us. <laughs> On this episode of Trying Something New, we're going to explore the beauty of Bohol. See the smallest monkeys in the world, test our luck on an 80-year-old suspension bridge, drive through a man-made forest, and check out Chocolate Hills. Over there. Chocolate Hills, but they, they don't like chocolate. We had a driver pick us up at our hotel and show us around for the whole day. It was 2,500 pesos, which is equal to about 56 US dollars. But we just got to Chocolate Hills. And here we are, we're going to do the stairs all the way up to the top and see the view. Here we go, Chocolate Hills, here we come. I wonder if there's any chocolate up here. I'm tired already. Get my workout in. I think I'm going to die. Sandy got a chance to experience what it's like. Carry rider, but she didn't even make it very far. You are a rock star because that was hard. <laughs> hey guys, what do you think of the Chocolate Hills? Amazing. You like what do you think, Ray? It's so cool. There are two reasons the Chocolate Hills are called the Chocolate Hills. The first reason is everybody says they look like Hershey Kisses, and the second reason is in the dry months, all the grass dries out and it looks like chocolate. Recently, the hills have been nominated to be one of the seven wonders of the world. UNESCO even declared these hills a World Heritage Site, and the government is stepping in to develop the area for everyone to enjoy. Just like that, we're on to our next adventure. Chocolate Hills, we see the rice fields and notice all of these little tarps out with the rice drying. And our driver said that they, they dry for five days. So they sit out here for five days to dry. So here's the rice right here, guys. Whenever I see these rice fields, I always wonder to myself how much energy and effort goes into growing and harvesting the rice and how much money can really be made off a bag of rice. If any of our viewers out there know anybody in the rice game, we would love to have an experience and maybe even make a video with a rice farmer and see how the process works. So if you do know anybody, comment down below and maybe we can experience it. All right. We went for a walk the other day and we saw that there was a gym here, 50 pesos for the day. I'm gonna get my first real workout of the month since we've been here in the Philippines. Let's go. Hello. I am here to work out. Thank you. Everybody here. All right, let's do it. I got it done. First day working out in a real gym in the Philippines. Jimmy's next. It's time to see the smallest monkeys in the world. Monkey time. Time to monkey around. I thought it was going to be way more expensive. It's only 60 pesos, which is like $1.10. Monkeys! Monkeys! Oh, thank you. All right, so we finally made it to see the Tarjir monkeys. We've been waiting on this day since we planned our trip to the Philippines. So hopefully it doesn't let us down and we see the little tiny monkeys. All right, it says the monkeys are this way. 
I don't know how we're gonna find them in this like jungle, cause they're this big. <laughs> Did you guys see them yet? Every time we see one, they're all sleeping. <laughs> and the one actually looked at us with these big eyes, and then he went right back into the branch. I'm like, no! One had his eyes open. He looked right at us. And right when I got my camera out, closed his eyes. Why, you little Tarsiers? Why? This one right here. They feel so long. They look like gremlins. Oh my god, I feel like a little kid. These are the cutest little things I've ever seen in my life. We came, we saw, we targeted. This is the end and I don't want to leave. Can we go back? Their eyes are so big. Yeah. So something that I love about the Philippines so far is that every souvenir place, everything is so cheap. This is my kind of place. Because <laughs> the kids are like, yeah, get a bunch of stuff, kids. Instead of, eh, we're going to skip the gift shop this time. We came, we saw, we targeted. Okay, so here we are at Alona Beach. We can't really see the water yet because the sun is setting, but it feels clean and it feels good. It feels what? cold. What do you think? Is it good? It's so good. He's just saying, I want to be a billionaire so, so bad. Very beautiful. What do you think, Sky? Aww. What do you think, Ryder? Was that good? It's good. Oh. What do you think, Mommy? So cute. That was so good. We just got serenaded by a little Filipino boy who said, I want to be a billionaire so like freaking bad. Me Is too, that the F word? Wow. No. So. But yes, he gets it. He wants to be a billionaire. <laughs> We're driving through the man-made forest and it is beautiful! Like this, it's like a canopy of trees coming over the road. It's pretty beautiful. All right, we came, we saw. Man-made forest! We man-made forest. Forest did it? Chop, we man-made the forest. <laughs> What's the last spot? My turn, finally get to go to the gym. Now that's what I call a down and dirty workout. It's 80 degrees out, 100% humidity, open air gym. The weights are dirty as <laughs> And that was probably one of the best workouts I ever had. Here we come, butterflies. Whoa, guys, here we are. Going into the live butterflies. Work, butterflies, we have visit tours. Fly now, fly now. Fly <laughs> now. Babe, look at this. Oh, right, right. No, 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 no. Right, right. Right. Oh, you got butterfly wings. Okay. Let's see. Oh. What the butterfly? They're boom booming. Jiggy, jiggy, boom boom. Bye. The weather's gone bad. We don't know what to do. <laughs> so we're just playing on the beach and it started to drizzle. And so we're like, oh, how fun, huh? And then all of a sudden, this downpour started. So, check it out. We just had a torrential downpour on the beach that cleared out the entire beach in about 30 seconds. 
kind of cool. Now the beach is just ours. We got out the GoPro. This beach did have about 100 people on it a second ago. And uh, sweet. What do you guys think? <laughs> We're going to the twin hanging bridge. You excited? Sky. Is it just one? You wanna do it? I don't know. Is it just one I think they're side by side, right? So I saw something about this hanging Wait, bridge. And it looked kind of sketchy to think about the kids walking across it. I don't want them to fall in the water because then we have to jump in and get them. <laughs> and I don't want to jump in and get them. Oh, this is it guys! So we're here, we just pulled up and it looks kind of sketchy. So we're going to go check it out before we pay 35 pesos each to do it. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna look and see if we want to do it real quick with my wife. I thought it was one man boo with no real. What, are you gonna do it? Okay. Then, uh, it's it's right. not stable. It's <laughs> just that it's not stable. I gotta go poop. Should we give it a shot? Okay, 70 pesos. Right. Kind of like $1.50. All right. All right, looks like we're gonna do it. That's one thing that I really like is that the entry fees are really like nothing. They're so minimal, like a buck, two bucks. Daddy. Makes it fun. Yeah. Doing on a hanging bait. Are, are you excited? All right, let's do it. All right, here we go. What's on the other side? Nobody knows. Come on, guys, we're good. So that's the scary one if you want to do that one, guys. So there's two bridges. These guys over here are the real crazy ones because they're building the bridge in the middle of the air. Oh, yeah? Well, we took a bunch of these, so. Why are we walking in slow motion? I don't know, but we are walking in slow motion. Bouncy. It's bouncy, bouncy. Oh my god, it's really bouncy. That's okay. Oh stay, stay with Sky because she's gonna start freaking out. And please don't do that, okay? What's wrong, Sky? What, what's making you scared that it's moving all over the place? You like it? No, no you don't like it? No. <laughs> it's, too not too, it's too scary, huh? It's not too bad, not too bad. Are you scared? <laughs> okay, I think we're right about in the middle now here, guys. How do you feel guys? Check in. Are you scared? Yes. Yeah. Everybody's a little scared. We're bouncing a little bit. But uh, it's so, pretty dope. So this bridge over here is really scary. Yeah, that's the it one It looks like the original do. one. Super sketchy. Yeah, we're gonna do that one on the uh -uh. No, yeah. I'm not. We're on the hanging bridge. Hi ho the dairy -o. We're on the hanging bridge. Was it that scary? I would love to know if there was any regulations. I want to do that. Is this up to code for people <laughs> to pass it? All right, we made it. We made it, Sandy. We crossed. The we bridge. made it. We came. Bridge. We saw. We crossed the bridge. We crossed the bridge. What's on the other side? What's the motherland over here? Souvenirs. Oh. Souvenirs. Exit. Exit. Oh god. Yes, I don't think it's ready yes, yet. Yes, yes, yes. I really want. To. All right. So this is the food that is keeping Ryder alive. What is it? Peanut butter and jelly. He will not really eat anything else. Pizza is normally something he'll do, but here, if it looks any different than what he wants, nope, that's what he says, nope. It actually sucks because it's really hard to feed him, and the minute the pizza comes out, we could order it, the minute it comes out, it doesn't even hit the table, he goes, nope, <laughs> and looks away. And then we know we just spent $9 on a pizza for nothing, and he won't eat it, and now he's gonna throw up again and starve himself to death, so. Bon appetit, Ryder. Peanut butter and jellies are up. Ryder, what are you getting? Three peanut butter, sir. You, you choose. Cheese. Make it good. Okay, we're here. <laughs> All right, we're getting ready to head back across the other side, but there's like 50 people coming. Oh, no. And we don't necessarily trust the weight of this bridge. It's like a couple of bands. <laughs> <laughs> with all those people on there. So we're gonna go over here and wait for a second. <laughs> Might be a while. 
So we're gonna venture out on the bridge with 10,000 pounds of weight on here. Oh my God. Oh my God, is anybody scared? Ah! Oh, it's waving now. Next, wait up, baby. All right, how you doing, Ryder? Good. Good, Sky? Good. What do you think, babe? Let's just get across, focus, focus, forward. What happened? Oh my God. What happened? It's we, moving. The kids left us. <laughs> it's moving. We're really like 100 feet up in the air. Oh my God. <laughs> he, he just almost, said he almost peed his pants. Guys, we made it. We, we made, made it across. Oh my God, we conquered the suspension bridge. That really scared me. <laughs> Mom, how did it scare you? Whoa. Right, right. Say, I almost peed my pants. I almost oh. peed my pants. So I'm wearing this outfit. Probably like my third day in a row. Because we are out of clothes completely. Hi. No clothes left. So, where do we go? Right here. Down this long hallway. Because <laughs> it seems like everywhere we went, there was no laundry options. I've been wearing so. this And I've been wearing this bathing suit for 18 days. Oh my, Skylar. 18 days. Yeah. Uh, Sandy. The, the big one. So everybody gets to carry a bag, yay. <laughs> All right, we finally got clean clothes. So I can quit wearing these little things uh, for six days in a row. Thank you. All right, come on, Ryan. Don't go any higher, let's go. We gotta leave. Our driver's waiting for us. All right, here we go. We must took somebody's hand out. All right, got the laundry, we got the goods, we got clean clothes. Oh, look at some cute stuff here. All right, no more shopping. We gotta get back. Bada boom. Bada bang, I almost got right over. As the night fell in Bohol, we hit the streets in search of ice cream. I don't know why when we travel, we seem to get ice cream every single day. Alright, so we'll do too. one salted caramel. Don't Two salted blue. caramel. It doesn't stinky. Fear factor. Alright, yeah. yeah. What does it taste like? Oh, I can smell it. It's the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you gotta try. No, I tried it last night and I'm not Just doing try it. Just try it on video. What only, do you, only if you do it first. Uh -uh, what, what, do you, it. Uh, what do you think, Ryder? Right? You wanna try it? No. Disgusting. Oh, I want that one. I want that one. Think of this one. Perfect. Ah, crap. Thanks for checking out this episode of Trying Something New. And hopefully you like this video more than Skylar and the cat like Dorian. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And be sure to check out all of our other videos from our travels in the Philippines. If you guys like our videos, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram and like us on Facebook. And whatever you do, make sure you get out there and try something new.